Hi folks, I just wanted to show quickly an interesting connection we found on the refreshed Model S. So as some of you may know, there's a phone dock here. You can charge either side. It's NFC, so you can put your card here and uh, authenticate to the car so you can drive. Um, but also there's, you know, you have your hazards here. So obviously there's control circuitry in here. And then you have uh, the um, shifter that's built into this and it's meant as a backup in case the screen doesn't work or you know if you if you actually just uh press the brake and tap it a bit it'll it'll eventually it'll eventually uh <laughs> show up there it goes and so i want to show a bit about about what's underneath here because it's actually kind of interesting so let me uh let me go ahead and pop this off and by the way if you want to pop it off you you just grab from either side let me adjust this camera just a slight bit here so you grab from either side and you just kind of pull up like that right and it's got pretty robust clips under here so i wouldn't worry too much i've i've actually removed this one quite a few times so once you're under here uh, if you can see so this connector here with the beefy connections is pretty obviously the power connection for the uh the phone chargers so that one you can take out and uh and it's only going to affect the charging uh then up here we have um we have another connection this one actually relates to the nfc for reading the key cards so if you have if you leave this unplugged by chance you uh you won't be able to use cards to drive but interestingly doesn't trigger any alarms right now in the in the car um this one this one appears to be lin based a lin bus so um so yeah, kind of interesting that that doesn't trigger any alarms. And then finally, uh, we have this one here. And so you'll see that, uh, that these are still lit up while this is plugged in. So this is actually a CAN bus connection right here. And so it kind of, it's, it's usually sort of taped right here. Um, I've pulled this one out a little bit, so I have a, a little bit more room to work with it. The way you can remove this more easily is once you've removed those other two connections, you just push this back right, and that comes out, and then you can pop that out like this. And then you can actually flip the whole dock over like that, and you've got a nice nice amount of room to work here. And so what you'll see here is a uh, four-wire connection, so it's uh, red and black are obviously uh, uh, 12 volt or high, you know, voltage and, and ground, bat and ground. And then uh, the white wire is can high, and the green wire is can low. And it turns out there are some really interesting signals on there. And so this connector is actually pretty easy to come by. Uh, as soon as you disconnect it, there you go. The car is complaining about it because there's no, and, and the error it's giving me is use the touch screen to select gears and schedule service. So uh, as soon as you plug this back in, that error clears and, and it carries on about its merry way. So anyway, that's a quick tour. Um, one other thing of note is people have asked where the diagnostic connector is on this car. So let me move this out of the way. So. Uh, to get to the, to the uh, diagnostic connector, which interestingly does not have this CAN bus on it. So this powertrain CAN bus is not available up on the diagnostic connector. That's why it took us some time to find it. So uh, all you do is uh, you'll, you'll kind of pull this tab, pull this down. It, it feels like you're going to break it as many of these things do. Um, but I promise you, I've also done that a few times. It's fine. And so under here, normally you'll find this connector is right here right so actually it's turned around i think no it's like this yeah so it's normally it's normally this tab's holding it in i use the connector a lot so i just kind of leave it dangling there but there you go so that's how you remove that bit and to put it back uh you just find the right spots and pop it right back in no worries so anyway that's the that's the tour um and hope some of that is useful uh, if you're digging into some of the systems on your refresh Model S or X. Thank you.